Hey guys, I'm here doing my February favorites. Um, I was feeling a little under the weather all of the last week, so it's a little bit behind, but hopefully you can forgive me. One skincare favorite that I've been loving, the even better Clinical Dark Spot Remover. It's from Clinique. And I've used this in the past, a couple years ago. I wasn't like blown away. Uh, it does help a lot with hyperpigmentation, but it's not a really dramatic result right away. You have to use it for a long time. You have to use it every day, twice a day. I've been using it now for about three weeks, and I have started to notice this week that it is making a difference. I picked it up at Winners, which is like TJ Maxx or TK Maxx, and it was $44. So it's a really good deal. Normally it's $64, I think, at Sephora in Canada. That's why I decided to pick it up and give it another go. I would say if you're going to do a dark spot um, corrector, do it now in the wintertime because in the summer, the sun kind of uh, counteracts the effects of this, so you don't want to be out in the sun a lot when you're using something like this. You have to use a lot of high sunscreens. So if you really want to get the, the maximum effect, use it now in the winter. Start a program. This is a great one. I have been seeing some results, and um, I know Origins, Dr. Wells, Mega Bright is also very good. The other skincare favorite that I want to mention, it's not a 100% favorite yet. But I feel like next month it's probably going to be in my favorites. It's the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. And this is just a sample. You can't really see because of the sun. There we go. This is her most famous um, product. If you have sensitive skin, it can be a little strong. You do have like a tingling sensation that you feel. You wear it for about two minutes. You rub it in. Um, all the instructions are with the product. I'm not going to give a full review right now. But basically, it makes your skin super smooth, even. Uh, it just makes your makeup apply better. It helps, again, with hyperpigmentation. It just helps with cell turnaround. So far, I've been really, really liking it. I've used it only three times, though, so I don't want to or say that it's perfect or worth the money because this is $100 at Sephora for a full size. Um, what I did want to mention at this month though is because Sephora is doing a 500 point perk for the Kate Somerville kit and they did it after Christmas which is when I first tried this product but they have redone it this week and I don't know if it's all across the board in all countries and all Sephora's but at my Sephora at the Eaton Center in Toronto they are doing the Kate Somerville kit again. This kit is so worth it. So if you have a chance, go to Sephora and get this perk. You will love all the products in it. The cleanser is amazing, the moisturizer is amazing, and the exfoliate is amazing. So go. Go to Sephora today. <laughs> um, my other beauty products are all makeup. So I'm going to start off with some brushes. I also picked these up at Winners. It's another one of my favorites of the month, is buying beauty items at Winners. There's really great deals. In fact, the Winners at Dufferin Mall, which is in Toronto, um... It has a ton of NARS stuff. You can't try any of the products because they're all locked up, but you can definitely, if you know the colors you like, they have like a lot of limited edition NARS palettes there. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're into beauty items. Um, but I bought a bunch of Real Techniques brushes and I got this one, which is like an eyebrow eyelash comb. Um, not something I'll use that often, but I love the eyelash comb because I hate clumpy lashes. And then I got an eye brush kit. Um, this is my favorite brush of it. It's like a, like a little mini kabuki blending brush. I freaking love this brush. Um, it's, they're super soft. They're gorgeous. They're just great to use. But my all-time favorite brush is this angled kabuki. And it opens. I really don't know why it opens with a magnet. Maybe to clean it. Maybe if you want to do like a full face. I'm not really sure why. But it does. Um, but I always use it like this just to use my setting powder. It just blends so beautifully and works really, really well. So these are all by Samantha Chapman, who um, is Pixie Woo on YouTube, and they're great brushes. I've heard a ton about them. They're really affordable. The kit might have been $12, and it came with like five or six brushes, and then all the other brushes were under $8. And I haven't seen them anywhere else in Canada except for Bed Bath & Beyond, so it's a good place to find them if you're looking. My next favorite thing has been uh, doing this sort of um, face look for my makeup. So I've been doing a darker lip, um, very little uh, blush, just a little bit of Coralista, and then just eyeshadow and mascara. And there's been two eyeshadow combos that I've been doing. One is with All That Glitters, so it's just here in this quad. This is All That Glitters, which looks like that. It's just a champagne shimmer. And then the other one is with Antiqued, which I have here in this pot which looks like that. And that's a more brownish copper. That's what I'm wearing today. I wear these all over the lid and then in the crease 
um, and in the outer corner I put expensive pink which looks like this it's like a rose gold and this is a shadow I heard people talk a lot about when I first started watching YouTube videos but I don't hear about it that much anymore it's really really beautiful it's a really golden pink that just kind of amps up these colors I think they work really well together this one is a darker more grungy look when I do these two and then this one's more paler it's more glowy but it still works with the darker lip and I really like it and I think it just gives a, and a real like 90s fresh face youthful um, look without doing a ha lot of heavy liner which I think a lot of people do when they're trying to do that grunge um, makeup look but I, I really like this and just lots of mascara and a filled in brow yeah so that's my favorite face of the month there are two new lip products for me for the month so the first one is what I'm wearing today and it is the Revlon Colorburst Lacquer Balms they um, look like the chubby sticks from Clinique um, these are the two colors that I have the brown one is the one I'm wearing today um, and it is the color Koi <clears throat> in number 140 but it's quite subtle it's not too intense and then the pink color is number 110 in Coquette which looks like this this one is basically the second pink shade in the line um, I was gonna buy I just wanted a your lips but better color but I didn't want to buy the first one because it was really pale and basically just some shimmer um, and they didn't have a tester for this so I just picked it up and I was like oh it's the second one it won't be too bad but it's actually quite a blue base pink and it's pretty intense they're basically like intense lip colors but toned down a little bit so that's what the two colors look here on my hand and you can see it's pretty bright but when you have it on your, on your lip it kind of look, just looks like you've blotted out like a really intense pink and that's the brownish um, orangey color these are really awesome. They last a long time. They are really wearable. The only negative to these is they do have glitter in them, like big pieces of glitter, uh, which gives that lacquer shine look and makes that last. So if you're not into glitter, do not get these. They do also make matte versions, so if you're avoiding the glitter, you can go with that. And if you don't like matte, just put a gloss over it. But um, I really like these, and I think they're really beautiful, and they give a great shine to your lips. The other product are the... Laurier Rouge Volupts. These are incredible. These are a bit more expensive for a drugstore. They, I got them on sale for about $12.50, but I think they're around $13, $14. But they are very comparable to like a high-end product. So the first color I bought was this color here. Um, if you can see it in the tube, it is again like a brownie color. It is called Caramel Solo. Um, it's basically the same color that I'm wearing, but a more opaque glossy version. Uh, it's a bit more of a brick red brown. Really, really nice. And then the second color I bought was the lightest color they do, which is 101 Rose Melody. And again, I like the formulation so much, I just wanted a Your Lips Felt Better type color that I could wear all the time. And that's it there. It's very light pink, really just very pretty. These have the most incredible texture. I've never felt anything so smooth. They just feel amazing on your lips. They give tons of shine. They last a long time. They're buildable. They're just really amazing, beautiful lip products. I, like, I'm obsessed with them. And the doe foot, it's a little bit spaced out in the middle, so it just applies beautifully. The applicator is just amazing. And I can't say enough good things. Like, I think everyone just needs to go out and try these. I know they're expensive, but you will get hooked. They are amazing. And they come in tons of colors, but these are just the ones that appeal to me. So, yeah, I absolutely love those. And those are the four colors. Like, the pink here, I wanted more of this style of pink. But it's a little bit blue for me. But I think in the summer with a tan, that'll work out. But other than that, I absolutely love all four of these products. I want to talk quickly about a book. I did do a TNS book review for the books I read in the month of January, so I'm not going to review this book, but I'm just going to say that Frostburn has been my favorite book of the month. I read it right at the beginning, kind of in between January and February, and it was amazing. It's the latest Patricia Briggs book. It just came out on paperback in January. One of my all-time favorites from the series, and you'll be so into it like I could not put it down so if you haven't read this series and you like anything supernatural strong female characters fantasy you need to you need to pick this up this is the best series of those genres out there it is amazing mercy kicks ass in this she has to save she has to save all the werewolves in this one well with the exception of Ben who is there helping her um, and Ben's like my favorite so I will uh, leave it at that but definitely pick this up
Friday Night Lights. I have been rewatching this whole series. One of my all-time favorite TV series. I've watched season one and two this month. It's just amazing. I love Tyra. She is my favorite. I love Riggins. And I love Sarah Sim. They're my three favorite characters besides like just the relationship between Tammy and Coach. I, I just love the show. I think it's so much more than football. If you haven't given it a chance, it's on Netflix. You need to start watching it. You will get hooked. Season one is like almost perfection. As I'm just going to quickly mention, two of my favorite reality shows have started this month and that are The Voice and Amazing Race. So you'll probably be hearing more about those later on in other favorites videos. I've been basically listening to the same stuff as I've been listening to for the last little while, but two new songs that have entered my um, kind of go-to playlist are If I Could Change Your Mind by Haim, it's their new single, the video is amazing, I really love that song, Adore You by Miley Cyrus, I'm a little bit like on the fence about this song, I love the chorus, I'm not too crazy about the rest of it, but um, I have been listening to it a lot. My Urban Outfitter Fairy Lights, I'm going to put a picture of them in here, they are incredible, they are expensive, I think they're $30, but they give off tons of light, they're really tiny, they look really elegant, if you want to wrap them around your bed or around artwork or hang them, and then they really wrap well because they're copper wire, so yeah, definitely love those. February is not the best month for shopping. There's not a lot in store, but there's some good sales if you can still find things that you like because they're really seriously marked down. The first thing I want to mention is the sweater that I'm wearing and it is an Angora blend cardigan from Aritzia. I actually have this sweater in a crew form which you've probably seen but this is the cardigan version and I got it for 35 which is an incredible deal. It's amazing quality. I love Aritzia sweaters. I would never have bought both versions like the cardigan and the crew at regular price but because I know I love the crew so much and I love buffalo plaid, I know I'll get a lot of wear out of the cardigan as well. And it's a lot easier to pair with patterns and things because it is neutral. The other big sale purchase I got this month, um, besides another Aritzia cardigan, which, which I mentioned in my Forever 21 haul and styling video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. It's this dress from Urban Outfitters and it is a purple floral. Sort of like a crepe rayon polyester blend with the cross in the back and I have this dress already in black and white it's black with white flowers I wore it to the Supernatural convention I talked about it in my best of the year video um, they re redid the dress in a bunch of different patterns and I love this one so much but I didn't want to spend another $69 on the dress that I already had basically it was on sale for $29.99 so I got it for under $30 and it was more than half price and I absolutely love it and it's a perfect dress to wear into spring because of the floral, but the dark in it means that you can wear it all year round. The black kind of makes it work with tights in the winter. My last favorite has been thrifting. I have been thrifting so much this month. I'm going to do a huge thrifting haul for my monthly haul because everything else that I've bought this month I've either showed in this video or I showed in my Forever 21 styling video. So everything else that I bought is thrifted. I want to show you two of my favorite pieces that I found this month. One is this um, little cardigan and it is in Gora. It's so fluffy and adorable. It's from Express, and it's vintage. It has little mother of pearl buttons, and it is just like holy grail cardigan. Cropped, just perfect, and I got it at the 50% off sale, so it was $5, and I'm just so excited about this. The quality is amazing, and like these types of sweaters are so hard to find, the good quality Angora, and I was just psyched. And then I got this amazing plaid shirt as well that is so soft. It's from Roots, so I don't think it's old, but it just fits really, really well. And I got it in the men's section. I think it was around $8. It's so soft, it's really good for tying around the waist. So great, great find. Um, but look forward to more thrift finds in my thrift haul or monthly haul video, which will be coming soon. And then lastly, I want to mention that my Tumblr, I have been obsessed with my Tumblr and actually starting up on my regular blog as well. So if you haven't been checking them out or if you haven't followed them, they are truenorthstyle.tumblr.com and truenorthstyle.blogspot.com. So on my blog, I do a lot of, um, of my own outfit posts as well as travel posts, inspiration, uh, things I'm obsessed with, that sort of thing. On my Tumblr, it's all inspiration. It's all things I love. I tend to group them in categories, like, so that it kind of has some flow to it. Lately, I've been posting about vintage Levi's, vintage jeans, 90s stuff, travel, interiors. I just put a lot of myself into it. So if you want to know a bit more about me, that's where to look. 
So yeah, that's the end of my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and remember to like it if you liked it, and comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys really soon. Uh, yeah, bye, have a great day.